This is Dan Seifert with The Verge, and we are here in Barcelona, Spain, checking out the Samsung Galaxy S5. This is the company's latest flagship smartphone. It really looks very similar to the S4. It's got a very similar design language with rounded corners, a uh, metal trim alongside. The only major difference with the hardware here is actually on the back. The back features a new soft touch finish with a dimpled pattern. It really feels a lot nicer than Samsung's older glossy finishes. Uh, it feels very similar to the Note 3 without the leather look. Uh, but otherwise it feels pretty much just like the Galaxy S4 in your hand. Uh, hardware wise, it's a little bit different. It's got a 5.1 inch display. They got a capacitive button for multitasking here and a new fingerprint scanning home button on the front there. Uh, on the back, it's got a 16 megapixel camera, an LED flash, and a new heart rate sensor that uses uh, uh, your fingertip to measure your heart rate. Uh, you can still take the back cover off to access the battery, your SIM card slot, it's got a micro SD card slot as well, 2800 milliamp hour battery that Samsung says gives 20% better battery life than the Galaxy S4. Inside the Galaxy S5 has a quad-core processor, it's 2.5 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's really fast and responsive from our brief tests, there's really no lag that we can particularly see. The interface here is definitely very familiar to Samsung users, there are some slight differences. If you swipe over from the home screen, you can access the My Magazine feature, uh, which was available with a swipe up in the Note 3. Uh, but otherwise, it's a pretty standard home screen. The settings menu looks a little different. The tabs are gone for a more icon-based approach. And it is running Android 4.4.2. Uh, but otherwise, it's definitely a Samsung phone. It's got all of Samsung's apps and helpers and things like that. The new thing here is S Health has been greatly improved. In addition to the heart rate sensor on the back, it's got a new exercise coach and pedometer and things like that. And it has the ability to be expanded with uh, third-party apps that can tap into an SDK that Samsung will be releasing soon. The heart rate sensor uses the sensor on the back here and you just place your fingertip on it. And then it will give you a reading for your heart rate in about five to 10 seconds. And you can see my heart rate there. Samsung's gonna be releasing the Galaxy S5 in a variety of different colored backs. There's blue, black, gold, and white. Depending on which market they're gonna release depends on which color will be available. Initially in the United States, we're going to see the black and white models. Samsung doesn't have a pricing announced for the Galaxy S5, but it says that we should expect it to see it on shelves in April.